Hi Aquarius, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic, Seer, and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of June 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign in these general readings to get a complete and clear picture of what's to come for you this month and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you. Remember, some months your psychic predictions and messages coming to you from your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This video is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon. All that being said, now on to your Psychic Tarot reading for the month of June 2021. And the first card you have Aquarius for June of 2021 is the King of Pentacles. And this is an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, sun, moon or rising sign. This could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign, that's an earth sign. But it could be somebody else in your life as well. You're going to get awarded or rewarded from with something from this king of pentacles they may have your best interest in mind they may be even trying to help you there could be things that you're trying to question review and analyze at this time and it could be some kind of information or something that's coming to you from the king of pentacles it could be the reverse where the King of Pentacles is actually asking you to help them in some way. You could be trying to figure out the next step of something that you have to do and the King of Pentacles could very well be uh, a key person or component in that next step of something that you're trying to do or get going. Could be a new business, could be a new job. Uh, could be some project you're trying to get off the ground. You could even be in a uh, team kind of effort with them where you're working together with them. It could be in a job situation, a business situation, could even be a health situation where you're working together as a team with this King of Pentacles person to get something happening. You could be in a team situation with them. They may even have some question for you about what's holding you back from progressing. There could be something at this time where you're not really sure what's going on. You know, like they could be asking you, hey, Aquarius, why haven't you completed this yet? Or what's holding you back from getting something taken care of. So some of you, the King of Pentacles may be like asking you some questions, like what's holding you back? Why aren't you making this step or this move or making this decision or taking this chance or opportunity? You may have to review certain things with the King of Pentacles. This could be an accountant. It could be a lawyer. It could be uh, a medical professional it's that is um, asking you to like review documents, paperwork, uh, things you have to sign, things that you may need to set in motion. It could even be somebody like a contractor. If it's not a lawyer or an accountant or a medical professional, it could be somebody that you're signing a contract to negotiate something or to build something. And making sure you're choosing the right path uh, or choosing the right courses of action come up between you and the King of Pentacles. 
So now on to the next card in your reading and you have Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords is being trapped in an emotional prison or trapped in a situation you can't see how to get out of. There could be secrets or unknown forces. Um, we have to see why this is here for you. You may be feeling like you have a lot of uncertainties, like you're looking for certainties and guarantees, but there may not be any in June. You may feel like, what's the thing I need to know? What's the thing I need to do? So there may be, you may feel like you can't move forward or you're afraid to move forward because you want certainties, you want guarantees, you may want some steps, like what's the next step, what's the next, what do I need to know, like what's the next step you need to take and what information you need to know. This is all part of this feeling like you're in the Eight of Swords position. You may feel like there's something you want to do, but you're uncertain or you don't know whether you can complete it or finish it. Go back to the King of Pentacles card. What is it that you're trying to start? What is it you're trying to get going? What is it that you need to do or that you want to get going? And here in the Eight of Swords card, you're feeling like you want guarantees, you want certainties, you want more information. Uh, you may feel like you're too much uh, in the dark about things. So that could put you in a, give you a feeling of tension. Tension and uncertainty could come up here for you. You may even feel like, I know probably internally and psychically what I need to do. So you may feel like you need to shut out all other noise and extraneous situations to get clear inside of yourself and to trust your own spiritual guidance and your own intuition. You may feel like uh, that things aren't completely clear or certain for you. You may be really doing a lot of soul searching and wanting to feel grounded and wanting to feel protected and safe. These could be issues that you're mulling over or thinking about at this time in June. You may even be uncertain and troubled about what you want to do. So you could even be feeling like troubled about uh, your decisions, like troubled about which to choose. You may really have to stay true to your path and stray, stay true to the course and not want to deviate from whatever chosen path or course it is that you feel guided and compelled to follow. But this could also make you feel a little trapped as well. So the card you have next clearly shows you make some kind of decision because here you have the Ten of Rods. And the Ten of Rods is moving on to new and better horizons with Ten Rods of Burden on your shoulder. But those Ten Rods of Burden are actually knowledge and experience you've gained that are going to help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. You're going to feel motivated. You're going to feel motiva motivated to take risks and chances. So even though you feel like the Eight of Swords is happening, you are still going to be motivated to move forward. So I feel you get past this energy and make the decision to move on. You're going to like gamble, roll the dice, put all your eggs in one basket, see how it plays out. You've been challenged by too many things for too long. You've been challenged by this. You've been challenged by that. What's been challenging you? Has it been your work? Has it been your physical body? Is it been your a mental or uh, your mental and emotional state? I don't know. It may be different for all of you or a combination of those things for some of you, but you are 
going to gamble, risk, move forward, take a chance. You may even be putting a lot of pragmatic skills in operation at this time where you may be doing a lot of studying, educating yourself, learning, studying, education. These all could be playing in. And this could be not necessarily, for some of you, it could be traditional education, going to school online or in person. Uh, and educating yourself through books and the computer. But for some of you, it's not that kind of process. It could be education and learning in a different sense. Some of you may be concerned with making money at this time and time may be of the essence. You may feel like, how fast can I get this going and, and generate this money? You may find yourself enlisting and enrolling in things. You could enlist in the armed forces. You could be uh, enrolling in schools, enlisting in programs and, and uh, other types of Things like training programs, education, schools, learning, the military, whatever you want to enlist and or enroll in comes up here strongly for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising in June. And you may feel like there's a lot of things you want to get done and you may feel a little bit burdened by a lot of responsibility. So June could kind of be like a, a pressure-packed month for you where you're taking risks, where you're uh, putting all your pragmatic skills in operation, studying, learning, enrolling, uh, educating yourself, enlisting, uh, concerned about making money and how fast can you make it comes up for some of you as well. So now on to your next card, Aquarius, which is a very good card. You have the Six of Rods. And the Six of Rods is victory after a battle, being victorious in some way. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. Did I say six of rods? I hope I said that right, because sometimes I miss say the cards. Six of rods, victory after a battle. <laughs> You're going to come to the conclusion that the decisions you made and the moves that you made and any risks or gambles that you took were the right decision. You're going to find yourself in a new powerful stance. This could be with your own personal life. It could be in your work life. It could be in other types of situations. You're actually going to feel like you got rewarded. Believe it or not. Even though you have this and you have this and you have this, you are going to feel like you have gotten rewarded for your choices and decisions. And you're going to feel like you're going to shine and you're going to end up feeling like you know what to do, even though you may not feel sure at some point you will be sure. And you're actually going to feel some of you Aquarians like you came from th and passed through some dark and uncertain times and you get the reward at the end. So you're like any period of darkness, uncertainty, you're going to feel like you crossed through those times and are being rewarded. You may find that you're going to gain more respectability and more affluence, financial affluence 
as well. And this is where you also discern what is worth keeping and saving and what you need to eliminate and get rid of and toss out. And you're going to find that once you do this, you have cleared the pathway for new things to enter. So whatever you got rid of, whatever decisions you've made, whatever courses you decide to take, any education or learning you, you know, put your energy and effort on to do, any important people that you've consulted with, uh, whether they be accountants, doctors, lawyers, medical professionals, uh, contractors, whatever, they were the right decisions. You will come out of darkness and open up into new things that are going to start coming your way. June seems like a semi-pivotal, somewhat pivotal month for Aquarians. So look at your last card, Aquarius. I had to laugh. You have Knight of Pentacles. So in your reading, if you look at the cards that I take the photo of in the beginning, you have bookends. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. Could be you if you have a Rising sign or a Moon sign. That's an Earth sign. You know, this could also be you. I forgot to mention that with King of Pentacles. This could also apply to you if you're born on the Capricorn and Aquarius cusp. Let's not forget that either. Some of you are going to start new employment or a new job, business, something uh, in June. You're going to feel like you're, got, you're getting and got your ducks in a row and everything is getting situated, Aquarius. You're getting ducks in a row somewhere. Where is that? Is it in your love life? Is it in your family life? Is it in your work life? Is it in your friendship and social life? Is it sweeping across the board? It could be in all of the areas or some. Some of you are going to feel like your knight in shining armor has finally showed up. Ta-da! Some of you are going to feel like this and, and to the rescue. But what are they rescuing, rescuing you? Is it love? Is it work? Is it your career? Like bigger scale than just job? Like is it your career? I don't know what area it is. It will be different for all of you Aquarius because remember Aquarius, this is for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. It's not just for Aquarius sun sign only. Interesting conversations are going to be had with the Knight of Pentacles. And you know what? No lie. Some of you Aquarians are going to get, be, buckle up. You're going to get taken on some interesting adventure. And the Knight of Pentacles is part of the reason you have this adventure. And knights can be male or female. Some of you Aquarians, don't be surprised if you get invited to attend some kind of gathering. You could, you could get invited by the Knight of Pentacles, or you could meet the Knight of Pentacles at the gathering. Some of you Aquarians are going to get ready to step into a whole new world. There's a whole new world opening up for you. And the Knight of Pentacles seems to be the harbinger of change, the harbinger of this new world that you're opening up into. And you know what I get with the Knight of Pentacles? You are finally going to feel like you hit that target. So imagine a dartboard and you're sitting there throwing darts. How long have you been throwing those darts, Aquarius? I don't know, a couple of years, longer than a couple, maybe a few. I don't know, but you finally get that dart. 
the dart with the fancy feathering at the end. No, no, it's not the, just the red feathering. It's the red and white striped feathering. And the dart is a little fancier. And you pick up that dart and bam, you hit that bullseye. The bullseye is coming to you somehow, some way, in some connection to the Knight of Pentacles. They are your knight in shining armor. They either bring you the great new job, the great new opportunity, the great new love relationship, the great new social life. I don't know what, but somehow the Knight of Pentacles is pivotal for you. And they could even be the same person as the King of Pentacles. But not for all of you Aquarians, but you got the bookends so watch for those earth signs. But you know what? Sometimes we don't know. You could meet somebody, be like, you know, I'm just curious. What's your uh, birthday? Just curious because I'm into that. And they could say, August 15th. And you're going to go, hmm, that doesn't make sense. Why did the Lucky Mermaid tell me that they were going to be an earth sign? Well, are you going to ask them, hey, can I know your birth time so I can find out your chart? And then I'll know whether you've got, you know, uh, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, sun, moon, rising or some other prominent position that will tell me that you're the person in that reading. <laughs> the universe doesn't make it that easy for you, do, do they? Sometimes the universe does, but not always. So... Now I'm going to look at the gemstone crystal that I got for you, the best gemstone crystal for Aquarius for the month of June 2021 is sodalite. I'm not so sure sodalite didn't come up for you recently. Maybe in May, I'm not sure about that. Or in one of the other videos that I do on Vimeo where I pull gemstone crystals because I do that from time to time. Uh, I did that in the eclipse readings for the eclipse in May. You may have gotten sodalite there, but nonetheless, sodalite is your stone, the best gemstone to put on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, your heart chakra. When you meditate, to wear it as a beaded bracelet, a pendant, or sleep with it under your pillow, or carry it, or look at it throughout your day. So let's see why this is good for June. This is going to make you feel more stable. Wow. I got to get me a gemstone bracelet <laughs> of sodalite. I need to feel more stable. I definitely need sodalite. It's going to help you work with the power from within. Oh, that's an interesting one. And it's going to help you apply your knowledge. And this could be knowledge you already have. Don't feel like this means, oh, it's only going to be knowledge I'm going to gain. No, this could be knowledge you already possess. It's going to make you calmer. Again, I need sodalite. I'm going to be tick, tick, tick on that computer after I get done this reading and I'm going to order a sodalite bracelet. No joke, I am. And it's going to help you feel more centered, more grounded, more calm. And my spirit guides, which I don't really understand what this message is, but they did say it, help you find your home. Lots of things can make you feel like home. It could be a literal home. So if you're searching for a home, uh, you know, that you want to buy a new home, have that soda light on you while you're looking. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand channel, where I use a variety of divination tools for a variety of very specific topics, you can get my most recent videos that I've recorded by going down below in the show more section in the description box. And those most recent links will be there. 
or you can go to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com, click on the videos tab on my menu, and there you will see all the video series I have listed, what divination tools I used, how long the predictions go out for, and you click on the zodiac sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, some of the most recent video series I've recorded, the most recent is my lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, May 2021, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. Those predictions go out six months. The other most recent video series I've recorded is my career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for the next 12 to 18 months. Also, my What's Lucky and New for You in 2021, and my Saturn in Aquarius, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Those predictions go out three years until March of 2023. If you would like to get a continuation of this reading here that I've done on YouTube for the month of June 2021, you can get the Psychic Crystal readings with more messages and predictions from my spirit guides to give you more insights, predictions, and information and messages of what is to come for you this month of June 2021. That link is also below this video. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here, you can follow, follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use different tarot cards, oracle cards, my crystal, and usually those predictions are written. Sometimes I put a video on and those predictions are not just for the day I post it. Sometimes it's for a week or two or three out or even months out. So many people find these messages resonate with them. You may find they resonate with you and I'd love to see you on my social media pages. If you would like to help support the readings and the work I do here and make a donation to my channel, there's a donation link posted down below underneath all the video series that I have listed in the description box in the show more section. And that link is connected to PayPal. I want to give a big thank you to all of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It truly does help a lot and it does mean a lot. So thank you so much for that. So I hope you have absolutely amazing energy and amazing times to come to you this month of June, 2021. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.